Hey, we're here at Slant Engineering today with my guy Jeff, the Stamp Engineer himself, Ryan Moore, and a bunch of awesome people. What we're gonna be doing today before the class though is we wanna make some dope Stampinator books so that everybody can take some notes. You know, I like to call them uh, field journals. I always have mine on me. We're gonna basically just show you a quick, easy way where you can produce some water-based printing on these books and be good to go. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna drop our center line. By dropping our center line, we can then register our screen and go from there. First things first, we're gonna wanna make sure we have some pallet tape on the pallet. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna drop our center line. Okay, got my center line, I got my T-square. Now one tip when it comes to dropping a center line on your palette, um, the thinner the line, the better. It's gonna give you way more accuracy when it comes to registering your screens and stuff like that. So we're gonna drop our screen down right there on our center line. Like I said, by keeping that center line nice and thin, it gives us way more accuracy when it comes to lining up our screens. Now when you're doing smaller prints like this, you know, you're always gonna have that ability where you don't necessarily have to tape the screen, you just have to be more conscious of how much ink you're putting in the screen and then how you're controlling it. We're not gonna actually tape this screen up, we're just gonna make sure that we're controlling where our ink goes and where it flows. You're gonna tape off our reg mark. When it comes to any type of taping in the screen printing industry, it's always nice to do a little dog ear where you simply are just folding the corner of the tape. What you're doing is you're setting yourself up and you're setting um, your team up to make it very, very easy for them to simply just peel that piece of tape right off the screen when it comes to cleaning. We're gonna load the screen up now, print the palette, and get it ready to rock. All right, so we have our ink in our screen. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay down that first print on our palette like I was saying before so we can get an idea of where we want the books to lay down, all right? We're using a water-based ink, so once we make this first print, we keep that screen flooded. So all you really need to do once you print the palette, especially when you're gonna be laying the product on top of it, is just take some clear tape, cover up the print itself, and then that way you have an accurate placement of where it is without smudging that ink. I want to go edge to edge. Um, now that we have this, what we're going to do is we're going to take some tape again and we're going to just make some quick marks on the palette so we know exactly where to lay our book down every time. And then that way we don't have to waste time trying to make sure it's straight or anything like that. 